So today I'm just going to talk a little bit about parts per million and what that means. It's a term that gets used a lot when we're talking about chemicals that are in soil or water in really low concentrations. So it gets used a lot in the pollution industry, but also in science in general. So when it comes down to it, it's really just a proportion. Much in the same way that a percentage is a proportion. So we're used to thinking about percentages as being sort of a part of a hundred, right? So PPM is very similar, it's just a part of one million. So say if we had 2%, we're probably pretty used to thinking about that and what that means. We know that something is two parts out of 100, right? So that's essentially proportion. If, if we had two parts per million, then we know that that is two parts out of one million parts. And what parts? The parts could be anything. You could pretty much choose any units that you want that will work, but they that are mass. Any units that are a mass. And that's typically what we're talking about is mass per mass. So you could say, okay, I'm going to use milligrams. So this is two milligrams out of one million milligrams. And that would be the same for percentages, you would say two milligrams, but it's out of 100 milligrams. And as long as these units cancel, as long as they're the same on the top and the bottom, you can use any, any units you want. You could say two kilograms out of one million kilograms. In the same way that you could say, you know, two kilograms out of 100 kilograms. So that's really all that parts per million means. It gets a little bit trickier because people like to convert parts per million into other things without telling you about all the steps in between. So in soils, for example, people like to convert parts per million straight to milligrams of chemical per kilogram of soil. And in water, they like to convert PPM straight to um, milligrams of chemical per liter of water. But I find this to be a little bit confusing and it's actually pretty straightforward if you just consider all the steps in between. So I will show you how we go from parts per million using this sort of very simple definition here, how we then go from that down to here. And so here I'm first going to do it for soils and then in a separate short video I'll do it for um, water. Okay, so in soils, oops, in soils, we could, let's say we have, we're still going to work with two ppm, two parts per million. And we'll say start with uh, two milligrams. So we know that two parts per million is two milligrams for one million milligrams of soil. So we're going to try to get that into this common conversion that people, that people use. And it's actually pretty straightforward to do because we know that one million milligrams equals one kilogram, right? So then we're just canceling those things out and we end up with two milligrams per kilogram. So that really is about it. And this is the common unit that are uh, the common conversion that people use from PPM to kilograms of soil. It's a little bit trickier for water, but I'll show you that in the next separate video.